What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com and today guys, a little bit of a different video. I get a ton of comments down below because I reference Graham so often who's the other dog uh, just to get him more involved with the video. So today what we're going to do is just go outside where Luna and Graham are at and just kind of hang out. We'll talk about those two interacting, see what they do on a daily basis and we'll go from there. So stick around, it's coming up next. All right guys, real quick, like I always say on these videos before I head outside here, if you are new to the channel and you like watching these videos about Jack Russell Terriers, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or at least consider doing so. Give us a thumbs up on the video because we love when you do that and it helps us get seen by the YouTube algorithm. And of course, hit that notification button so you're notified in the future every Sunday at 11 a.m. when our new videos come out. And now let's go ahead and head outside and see what Luna and Graham are up to. And there goes Luna. And there's Graham hunting for some food, like he always does. All right guys, so we are in the backyard now. We got Luna out and Graham out. It's that time of the day where they just kind of come outside and hang out, go potty, because they just ate about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago. So they come out here, do their thing. If I don't have time to do anything with them, then you know they keep each other entertained at that point where Luna remains the attention crave dog that she is but this is uh the setup a lot of people always say that we don't have enough grass for them because it's really i mean just that grass and there's some way over there on the other side but the rest has been kind of converted for our kid to be able to play with his swing set and stuff it's like luna's enjoying some weeds and grass but this is Luna, come over here for the camera. But this is where we hang out for the most part. Unless we are going on a walk or something like that, this is where we play and where we hang out and where they poop. She's gonna do her laps like she always does, see if we can get a decent view of her on camera here. Luna! And here she comes. Oh, no, she took off. Let's see if we can get Graham over here. Graham, here comes the beast, and they're going to chase each other now. This is going to be a game of tag. There they go. Around the porch, and lap two. That's one of the main things that these dogs do, guys, is uh, they like to do their quick 100 mile an hour laps around the yard, chase each other, get a little bit crazy, but <clears throat> for the most part, they are pretty good back here. The fence is up, so, you know, that helps keep them in for the most part. Not too much to worry about, except Luna has extremely good hops, so you gotta be careful with fences that are a little bit too short, because these dogs can certainly jump. So that is definitely one of the concerns. Graham looks like he's seen if there's anything left over in her little treat platter there on her sunbed. He's always hunting for some kind of food, aren't you, Graham? Graham, come here. Come say hi. Don't be shy. Just because it's not your YouTube channel doesn't mean you gotta be shy. What are you doing? Graham definitely gets tired before she does energy-wise. She uh, she could go all day. Graham's got a few laps in him, and then he's a little tuckered out. But he's not in as good a shape as Luna is either, are you, Graham? You got a little bit of a belly on you. Luna. That was me, not the neighbor. What are you doing? You need some water. You look thirsty. But yeah, guys, this is what I mean in all of my videos when I talk about, you know, how to provide an adequate yard or somewhere where these dogs can exercise. I know I don't have a ton of grass out here, but I mean, she's got plenty of space. It's never really been an issue. They run their laps. They keep each other entertained. You can easily still play fetch out here with them. They can get outdoors. They can burn off some of that nervous energy, and that's all you really need. You don't need anything much fancier or much bigger. 
Um, you know, clearly more size would be good, but it, we do just fine with this. And it's not like a, you know, a perfect dog setup by any means. So whatever you've got, I'm sure you can make work. Luna seems to be happy with it. Graham seems to be annoyed with Luna. That's just the, the way it goes with Jack Russell's and other dogs, I think. But overall, guys, I mean, it gets the job done. You know, they'll probably stay out here. Oh, man, probably another half hour, 45 minutes, just because they've kind of been cooped up today. So they'll get their laps in, they'll run around, wear out a little bit, then they'll come back inside and relax. But like I said, guys, completely different video than usual. It's not me sitting at the table with Luna today. It was kind of just showing you, you know, the life of this dog for five minutes in the backyard. So either way, make sure you tune in next Sunday at 11 a.m. for the next video. Hit those notification buttons so you are notified of that video when it comes out. Never forget to check out terrierowner.com. That is a blog that is associated with this YouTube channel. Tons of helpful resources there. Give us a thumbs up on the video if you haven't already, and be sure to subscribe or consider doing so if you haven't already. Otherwise, guys, we will catch you next Sunday. You can always use the product descriptions down below in my description box. If you are new to a Jack Russell and need some help with some of the recommended items that I recommend. Outside of that, guys, we appreciate you, and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.